Do you know what the difference is between making extra virgin olive oil and premium extra virgin olive oil that can win awards all around the world? Well, you're about to find out. We are in Umbria, Italy at the Passo della Palomba Olive Grove and these guys have been making premium extra virgin olive oil for many years, winning loads of awards and they're going to show us step by step what makes the difference between a normal olive oil and a special one. The olive oil life cycle starts from the olive tree, which needs to be harvested, needs to be cleaned, needs to be milled and needs to be bottled. And your action throughout all these steps of the production will have a butterfly effect which will lead you to a special, special olive oil. Every single action you do will make a difference into the end product you're going to be producing. So step one in making extra virgin olive oil is harvesting your olives. And when do you need to harvest? Many people harvest at the end of October, into November, some even to December. The reality is that the earlier you harvest, the better will be your olive oil. The olives will have the highest amount of polyphenols which will yield to the best olive oil possible. So why doesn't everybody do it? Well, simply because if you harvest early with nice green olives, your yield, so your end amount of olive oil you're going to be produced, is going to be lower. So if you're thinking about sales, making volumes, you harvest late. Less quality olive oil, higher amount, more bottles you can bottle. But if you really want to do the best olive oil possible, you harvest early, the beginning of October here in Italy, to make the most amazing olive oil possible. And the olives are picked from the tree by hand, either with mechanical shaking little sticks or directly by hand, and they're dropped into nets. These nets are carried into basket, loaded in the little van and brought down to the mill. These are then cleaned by hand. Three or four people at a time will be cleaning all the olives from branches, from leaves. And why are we cleaning by hand, you'd say? Well, because if you clean mechanically, which of course you can do, you're going to end up bruising the olive. That's the second characteristic to make a premium olive oil. Don't use mechanical cleaning, use hand cleaning. It's a lot more hard work, but the end result is a much better, healthier olive ready for pressing. And then once they're picked, they're cleaned, you're ready to mill them. But when do you mill them? You mill them straight away, the same day. And this is a big difference from when you buy olive oil that says that comes from different countries. Because what happens? If it comes from a different country, it needs to be put in a crate, it needs to be shipped, and through the shipping, the weight, the olives are going to start to ferment. You're not going to get a good product. But instead, if you pick them, and by the time it's night you're milling them, then you're keeping all the flavors into your olive oil. And that's number three of what yields a premium olive oil. And then the olives go into the mill. And of course, everybody loves those traditional old mills where you can see everything, you can smell everything. The problem with those mills is that you're losing so much of the aromas into the air. And these are the aromas you want to have inside the bottle. So a mill needs to be modern. This is where tradition meets technology. You want a modern mill, this one in specific is under nitrogen, so all the flavors are trapped into the mechanical process of the meal that yields an olive oil which is full of its flavors. So the flavors from the olives go all the way to the bottle. Nothing is lost. And this is key. You cannot make a premium extra virgin olive oil with an old meal. The old meal looks beautiful. It just doesn't bring things into the bottle. And then before you bottle, there is a step which is key and marketing has been fighting this step just because it can sell cheaper bottles and that's the filtering. Do you want a filtered olive oil or an unfiltered olive oil? Marketing will tell you you want unfiltered, it's more natural. The reality is that's all fake. Premium extra virgin olive oils need to be filtered. They need to remove all those sediments that over time will actually be ruining your extra virgin olive oil. Why does marketing tell you that you want to have unfiltered? It's because filtering costs money and as a producer you lose extra virgin olive oil which of course is not good for business. But what is good for business is that you're making a premium extra virgin olive oil. So when you go shopping make sure to buy filtered olive oil because you're going to have a product which is much better and you're going to have a product that's going to last a lot longer. And then there is the last stage of the process and that's the bottling. The bottling is key to have a great product 
that's going to preserve all its flavors into the shelf, into your own house, and in the cabinet as you use the olive oil. So premium extra virgin olive oil will be bottled into glass bottles only, no metal, no plastic for God forbid, and it will have a cap that has a little nitrogen bubble inside it. And the nitrogen will preserve oxidation of your product so that when you open it, it's gonna have the same amazing flavor as if you just taken away from the mill. And then of course the bottle, you need to store it in a cool place, away from sunlight. Sunlight is the biggest enemy of olive oil and that's why the good bottles are dark. If you see a transparent bottle, that's again, just marketing. And then the, a good olive oil will last for up to two years. The reality is that if you have a good olive oil, you're gonna open it, you're gonna finish it straight away because it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So when you go out and buy extra virgin olive oil, follow this advice. You want a dark bottle. You want the olive oil coming from one country only. I love Italian olive oil. We are in Italy here, it's beautiful, but just one country only. You don't want the olives to be shipped around. You wanna use the olive oil that has been milled in the current year. And you want an olive oil which is filtered, it's gonna preserve all this fantastic flavor. So this is the whole process from plant to bottle of how a premium olive oil is a little bit different from your basic olive oil.